A marvelous Yay. Monday, indeed. Happy holidays! Happy holidays, people! Woo. Superstar. Obviously, someone had a lot of eggnog spiked with brandy. Mm -hmm. Is it apparent? And it's yeah. our last Monday, so yes. why not <laughs> celebration, guys? Not Don't so leave me hanging, I for girl. That. I for that. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging, girl. Welcome to the stew, guys, and thank you for joining us for a little bit of holiday flair at our last episode for the season. I'm Anika. You can drown your tears in some jingle balls. I'm Janae. <laughs> I'm Tap. <laughs> Tap is our guest host today. Woo! And thank you guys so much for watching us for our very first season. It has been quite a whirlwind. We talked about a lot. And today, we want to talk to you a little more before we go back. Yeah, well, definitely we're heading into the holiday times. And I just love this time of the year because it's a time to forget about all your troubles. Mm. You go out with your friends, mm. you dress up, drink you drink. Because so many things have been happening <laughs> um, in the world um, this year. One particular story that really piqued my interest that's been going on for a couple of months is the hashtag no DAPL movement. Mm. I don't know if you guys heard about mm. it. But basically, it's the Dakota Access Pipeline that was being protested uh, by local tribes. Um, and it basically, it blew up because they wanted to build this pipeline under the Missouri River, I believe. Yeah. And people protested and protested and protested, and it seems as if they finally made some headway. Woo! And they, they basically, they put a, a pause on it, I believe, the well, US the government. Well, the significance was that it was a native <laughs> tribe, tribe right sacred, there. Sacred land. A sacred yeah. native tribe, yeah. and they essentially wanted to put this huge pipeline for mm -hmm. miles and miles and miles through their, you know, where they live, where, yeah. where the whole movement or their whole tribe kind of mm -hmm. started. Yeah. And they protested. Why? Why come in our territory? Why? Why take away such history? Yeah, such something so beautiful and endanger the environment. Yeah, I mean, come on. A yes. pipeline, like people, people live there. Yeah. Exactly. Well, it, I, I, I thought it was really powerful, and it was emotional for me to watch mm -hmm. because I kind of likened it to when we had, you know, We March in Rawson Square about a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, it's just a reminder that if you stand up for what you want and what you believe in, you know, mm -hmm. for your country, for your environment, you can see action and you can see change. And Definitely. I think that was the underlining message power, for me. Power to the people. Power Definitely. to the people, yes. for sure. And power to you this holiday season. <laughs> Are you ready to dump your significant other? <laughs> Let's talk reverse cuffing season. Because we went into cuffing season a couple of episodes yeah, ago, you remember did. that? Okay. But sometimes you need to just let him go, save some money. <laughs> wow, really, Janae? Yeah, you know, sometimes. Oh my God. I, you know, I really. There are people who still do that? No, but you, did you see and her new space? Her new space, she's like, <laughs> sometimes you. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, I mean, I, I'm just talking for for the financially strapped people. Okay. You know, I, that's okay. That's so from an investment, I like this. Yeah, from an investment you know, standpoint, um, yeah. Christmas, uh, Hurricane Matthew. Just blame it on mm -hmm. him. Sometimes you just gotta dump before the season. But if you're yeah. really interested in the person, so I'm guessing you dump them before Thanksgiving, and then when you, where do you pick up? Do you wait after Valentine's Day or but, after Easter? Oh, you got you want them back before Valentine. I'm Valentine's I'm saying what if you really like the person. Oh my God! Um, what is wrong with you two? I can't believe you're plotting this. This is crazy. You can hear, by the way, she's talking. She's guilty of this, obviously. I am not. You could, you could, you could. How you do you tell. dump someone and you pick them back up in the new year? I hope he tell you, listen, don't call me. Don't, don't hate big ass me. Fiscal responsibility. Exactly. Oh, That's my. what we call it. You see what their priorities <laughs> are, guys. Well, I've already told everyone up front, Christmas gifts aren't happening this year because of Matthew. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, he really, really took it out of me. Just but blame everything on Matthew. How do you dump before the holiday season grows? Um, mm. Do it in a public place. That way he or she can't pull a scene. Um, what if they're crazy and they pull a scene regardless? I'm very concerned about that. <laughs> you know how these behaving fellas go. I you, know. you better. Um, 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 uh, make sure you call your cousin and your baby mama's other friend, whoever, from Rock Crusher and ask them to come and wait in the car park outside the restaurant. So if things pop off, you will have backup waiting in the cut. That's my advice. Got it, got it. Got, did you hear that uh, WhatsApp voice note that's going around? My mom played it for me. And it's so, um, it's, it was so beautiful. I, I, I can't, let me see if I can do the accent. 
Pesk you out crazy, you see it? <laughs> I mean, she got young in here. No, no, continue, no, continue. continue. I'm enjoying uh, this. Man, I got, I got to find it for you guys. Okay. There, there's a WhatsApp message going uh -huh. around, and the guy's basically saying how crazy the girl is. Mm -hmm. Crazy, you see, this gal. Something wrong with this gal. <laughs> you see. And she, I guess, it, he's dumping her. Over a WhatsApp voice note. Okay, so but yeah. oh, he dropped it via WhatsApp. Yeah. Okay, so that's rule number two. Uh, besides um, dumping something in public, please do not dump someone over WhatsApp. For goodness sake. Yeah, that's cruel. Don't do that. Here's what you can do. I like what you said. You got to kind of have a head start, right? There needs to be a gap so they can mend a little bit during the holidays. So you might want to do the right... July, August, you kind of want to make things a little rocky, and then you move into September, you know, it's like, boom. Hey, you know, I don't think this is working out. Maybe we can revisit this in the future. And that's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> or you could be that like a get man a little, and just that do get a bit straight awkward. manipulation. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my <laughs> God. Things are escalating. Something's wrong with you. You know, you're crazy. You're crazy. Oh my God. Like... Come on, if you, you knew I was crazy from the beginning, why would you even start bringing that up as a reason to dump me? You know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, so... Awkward, awkward. <laughs> speaking of awkward questions, I'm trying to get away from this conversation. Yeah, but awkward questions, like, you know when you go to a holiday party, a family party, mm -hmm. and especially as women, you get those questions. Like, how do you deal with those? Like. Oh, you know, you ain't getting married yet. Where your boyfriend? Where your significant other? All that stuff. Beeline to the bathroom. How do you deal with that? Or how Back. about, girl, you've been married for two years. Where the baby? Where the baby? Oh, yes. that's so annoying. No, I legit, I just walk off. I just don't even answer. I'm like, uh huh. Yeah, great. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, I. Beeline I to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, d yeah. Okay, there's two ways to do this, right? <laughs> I'll tell you what I do. Um, when they ask me those crazy questions, I'll be like. Yeah, you know what? I can't have a baby. You know why? Because I think um, I might be like, I think I might be an alien and my head's about to explode. And then when my head explodes, then I can't do anything else. I think the best way <laughs> to combat an awkward question is to come back with an even more awkward statement. Uh, so, for instance, a lot of times when I go out and someone says something to me and it's either awkward or I don't want to talk to them, they'd be like, where do I know you from? And then I'll probably say something like, do you watch porn? Like, you may know me from porn. And that usually works. Oh, People yeah. usually, either mm, they're really like it. freaked out or embarrassed. Like mm. So maybe when you go to your family's holiday dinner and they ask you why you're not in a relationship or anything, just tell them, you know, you're trying to wrap up your porn career <laughs> and pay off all your student debt and that's why. And that exactly. would be so awkward, they'll just walk yeah. away, hopefully. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or, or you've, yeah, you've just broken into the stripper industry yeah. and your pole dancing classes aren't done yet. So I'm the only only normal one around here is what you guys are saying. Normal is relative. I mean, be, be, <laughs> be lining means you have something to hide, and you don't want to hide anything, you know? Mm. That's not what you think? Are you no. trying to pull my files right now? No, not files. They're receipts. 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 Speaking of receipts, okay. this is the time where you spend plenty money. Now, let's. we want to talk about how much is too much to spend on someone for a gift that's not... Like, for instance, you're married, so not your spouse and not your family member, like mom or dad, but I guess like friends or even co-workers, because you know they do um, Secret Santa and all this stuff like mm -hmm. that. Like, how much is too much? How much is too little? Uh -huh. Wow. Okay. Well, I think for me, for a guy, mm -hmm. I feel like it depends on how much you feel in him. Like, if, if, you, if you're talking about for a guy, right? So, if, you know, you just kind of started dating, mm -hmm. I believe that what anything... Would be a good, what would be a good gift if you started dating someone three months? What would oh, be a good gift? I Christmas? would say their favorite bottle of something. Um, three months? Oh, that's yeah. good, because I was going to yeah. say, like, a box of envelopes that he can use at work. I was going to say You're better than me, girl. Seven. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all be giving these these negroes too much. No, you don't get no, no, no iPhone no, no, no. seven from tap. Three Sorry, months. Though. No, listen. Three months. You can get him his favorite bottle of something if he's into cigars and some freaking socks. And maybe yeah, get socks. You socks gotta, you gotta set the standard high. Cause then if I get an iPhone seven, I better get like a car. 
Right. That's why. That's why you start low. You start. You start low. Like iPhone collectors, seven, postage stamps. You know. Okay. Okay. But do you believe in that whole? Oh, it's it's the thought that counts. It's not how much it costs. I agree. Like, yes. 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 Listen. You're I lying. Wish, you're lying. I wish you're I could lying. give the. You're I lying. wish I could give the gift of hugs and kisses and love and She's dependability lying. and accountability. She's lying. It's dependability. Even if that girl no. shows yeah, up on your, your doorstep this Christmas with just a card and oh, I love you. You know what I, I was thinking about doing? Hashtag Tingsy. I was going to ask people like things, to tell know? me what their favorite charity is, and I'll give the money to that. Oh, that's sweet. That's and that's meaningful. Yeah. And, and then it, you know. If you were my, I don't want to hear that, though. If you were my person, <laughs> I don't want to hear that. No. I, I, you know. No. I, I told her, I there's a gift. Gucci bag. But what that if I gave $100 to your favorite charity? Has my name charity? on it. That could go to my Gucci bag. That is in um, over Paradise <laughs> Island in the Gucci there. Uh -huh. And it's actually less than the one online. What color is it so, so I can take pink. Notes. Thank mm -hmm. you. And you mm -hmm. guys can write to the studio. You can deliver it here because yeah. I don't want you coming to my house. And let's make this pop in. All right. Yes. So are there any other holiday mustaches mm -hmm. for you ladies? My Gucci bag. Okay. Eggnog. <laughs> I love oh, eggnog, okay, yeah, especially nice. when it has like um, brandy or bourbon. Am I the only the one that? I, oh, see, I haven't had an eggnog that good because I feel like eggnogs are so. Good. Have you had it with? I need it with, with like with Bailey's bourbon or, or bourbon. Yeah, no, that's, or, to me, that's when it tastes the best, honestly. Yeah, or Hennessy. Okay, yeah. what about you? Um, let me see. I have it right here. So for Christmas. Is that your letter to Santa? <laughs> Aren't we a bit old for that? For Christmas, are you listening, guys? I want. Um, so I'm, I'm iPhone, iPhone 7 no, is on is top on the list. Then I need um, new brake pads for my car. <laughs> and then I need, um, what's it say? Uh, oh, I didn't realize I wanted, oh, I, oh yeah, here we go, uh, wine glasses. I really, really need wine glasses. <laughs> this whole year, people have been coming over and everything breaks. Can and they just cut to the chase? Who's this directed to? <laughs> because these can't be the same people who you tell and you're giving charity, mm, charity gifts yeah. for them. I, and you want iPhone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. iPhone and... Mm -hmm. and and hey, all right. Uh, so I have to put it out in the atmosphere top. Okay. Wow. <laughs> all right. So you heard it here first. Janae has quite an impressive list. Top one, her Gucci I bag. I want my Gucci bag. I want and eggnog. Holiday must-haves. New clothing. Yes. Yes. New eyelashes. It's a time when Bahamians like go out and you dress up and you see people you haven't seen in a long time, and just good health. I yeah, hope this awesome. doesn't look weird. All right. So <laughs> listen to all the other crazy mess. Mess. <laughs> Too much eggnog. I know. Guys, we're going to take a breather here. <laughs> we're going to have Mika in the back. We have more of the stew coming up. <laughs> What's a holiday season without cool gifts that has a little bit of touch of class and a lot of touch of island? In studio today, we have artist and phenom Delithia Nairn here on the studio to tell us about her new business in fashion style accessories. Come on out, Delithia! <laughs> <laughs> You and thank, thank you, you for all of the eye candy. Yes. yes. Oh my goodness. Now I've seen these bags on Instagram so much and people are going absolutely crazy and I'm in love because it, for me it has the perfect combination of like really chic style but very Bahamian. Tell us about your brand and your business. Okay, so my brand is Personal Paradise. I started July 13th of this year. It's just women accessories, handmade, hand sewn purses and hand painted so Definitely. that's well you're brand. actually gonna you cost a little fight behind the scenes <laughs> people at home need to know that uh, this one already she's already clean oh, she's, oh, she's, already, oh, she's oh, peed oh, on our hydrants I've okay you, you almost cost a fight with our producer yes. because people people look just nice love these goes. bags they're yeah. amazing thank you so i want to know what inspired you to actually put bahamian designs and it's not really the most you know, the most typical designs, but when you look at it, you're like, oh, wow, yeah, that makes sense. What inspired you? Well, I just knew that being, when I wanted to go into business, I wanted to give back 
to my home country. So for me, that was putting our beautiful country on a bag, something that you could tote wherever you go, mm -hmm. whenever you travel. So um, put our country on the map, why not? What's nice. interesting is that you don't have an artistic background. I Correct. mean, you, did, you said you did art in high school. Mm -hmm. So what kind of drove you to think that, hey, I can actually, you know, put art on bags? Well, that's a good question because, <laughs> like you said, I only did art in high school, but it, it was always a hobby for me. Um, painting just is so peaceful, so relaxing. So once I get into it, I, I realized how good I was at it. And well, as you can see, you may not have an art background, but it, trust me, if I was doing this, you'd have been some I, little ugly it stick come figures. Out some other not well, as nearly face, I can as. Never get I couldn't right. even do that, and it's only a smiley face. Yeah. And it's so, yeah. so good. But you know, we were talking earlier about the fact that you were kind of pushed into this uh, entrepreneurial pursuit because you were a person who was working at one of the resorts that kind of got shut down. Mm -hmm. um, and so, talk to us about some of the, I guess, unexpected challenges that you may or may not have had as you okay. know becoming this new young girl boss <laughs> well the challenges that I had my first challenge was actually launching mm -hmm. like you know you have your girlfriends mm -hmm. who you tell your ideas to and they push you and they're like oh just go for it so it started off as a hobby like mm -hmm. I said and then it just came where I didn't have a job so it was like okay you need some form of income and my girls were like just just do it just do it mm -hmm. so I finally said I'll do it um, I came, I studied a price point and everything and branding, how I want my brand to be. So I did all that with my thought process and then I finally launched and people started to really fall in love with that. Wow, that's, 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 that's the importance of having good friends though. I have, these, I have these the type of friends though who be wanting the bags for free now. Like, no, you know, no, you know, no, 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 for real. When you no, start a sure business, they they, people always want a discount. Yeah. No, no, that's just starting. <laughs> no, but no discount. Discount. Listen, yeah. not just yet. No. You've described the fact that you've had good friends that pushed you and that you also took, you know, the right courses to kind of help shape your mind for right. this. What other kind of tips do you give to other young girl bosses who are trying to do the same thing, but they're trying to figure out what the formula should be? Um, or, some tips know. I have yeah. is invest in yourself. Yeah. Before I started the business, I know we had a lot of, say like talks, like Rotary had a business expo where they had persons, like the lady from Chick Charney Farms, mm -hmm. the guy from Switcher, they came there nice. and it was free. They spoke to you, told you how to start a business, gave you advice. So just expos like that, just um, when you have the opportunity, go to those. If you don't have the money, they have free stuff. Right. And the also do thing. research, yeah. right? Free. Research, yeah. research. Wow. And then just keep um, investing yourself as practice as well. Just keep trying to bring new ideas um, to your brand. So that's great. So what's next for Personal Paradise? <laughs> well, <laughs> flexing. Shoot, I want one too then. Full on flexing. I love it. I want to see an HP. Yes, yes. And it matches. Color yeah. Pop in. Thanks, girl. Yeah, but what's next? Well, <laughs> next, I hope to do new styles. And higher spokes keep models. <laughs> We're, yeah, available. Yeah. We're available. We're <laughs> available. To keep it fresh. Not, not, are we subtle or not? Yes. <laughs> 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 to do some more, like you said, like spokesmodels, do mm -hmm. some more branding stuff, um, get the name out there. This is a good opportunity mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much. And just to... <laughs> I'm so silly. <laughs> just, just to keep it going. Oh, mm -hmm. but you know what I wanted to say? Um, now you mentioned that it's... Uh, you know, women's accessories. Mm -hmm. But I know that you've also done um, some special things for some guys out there who yes. may want some new things for yes. Christmas. Like, uh, talk about some of the products you've done for guys. Okay, so I was, um, Kadar reached out to me and he asked for a tablet case and I was like, hmm, I never made one of those, mm -hmm. but I'm always up for the challenge, trying new things, adding more styles to the brand. So I said, okay, let's do this. Um, my mom sews. So if it was a case where I didn't know where I was doing, she could also help me. And mm. I actually didn't need her help <laughs> with that. Wow. I just did the tablet, painted it, and it came out really, really good. And I actually made um, probably two more for someone else. I haven't started advertising those as yet, but that'll be an extra to the brand as well. How were you sure <laughs> this is what you're supposed to do? Because I'm sure other people uh -huh. are listening and thinking, should I just get up and do it? But how do you know? How do I know? Yeah, how do you know? When did you know that this is where, right where I belong? 
for me, it was just, I feel like I'm just coming into my own. Awesome. I'm, I just feel so free. Mm -hmm. um, I'm becoming more confident because I'm the shyest person ever. <laughs> you want to say that's why you have spokesmodels. Who hey. hey. will talk for you for a, a year supply of personal parent And products. that's it. <laughs> yes. yes. And I just... Huh. It's been, it's been great. Opportunities have been coming um, left, right, and center, whether small or big. You just have to know whether to take the right opportunity. You know so what I love about been. your story? The fact that you were, you were kind of pushed into it mm -hmm. because you were in a, you were, your back was against the wall. You were in a right. situation where it was do or die, mm -hmm. you right. would say, mm -hmm. and you did it. Yeah. And I think that's a powerful story for the audience to know that you know, <laughs> when you have been kind of pushed down, things aren't going your way, there's still a way to get yeah, out of that. Exactly. Oh, girl, you're about to make yeah. me cry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, girl, we have an Oprah moment. Oprah <laughs> <laughs> moment. Oh, exactly. Where's the Kleenex? <laughs> well, we are so excited to see what you're going to do. And I love that these make great Christmas gifts. Yes. So, yes. I mean, oh, talk about the price point then. You know? Um, okay. Where can they find it? I mean, this one's already bought. But um, <laughs> this one as well. Also, too. Also, too. Bought. <laughs> this one as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so in addition, and, I, well, uh, Anika, um, okay, that one's called for already, also, but okay, you so can wear it now. Can, we, can people still get these? <laughs> yes. Can people still get these designs? Then, seeing that I'm, I'm gonna have to like square up for my Maybe purse. if you want a custom design, is that possible? And yes. again, where do people find you, and how do they yes. arrange that? Yeah. So we have a Facebook page, Personal Paradise, as well as Instagram. So you'll just put the at sign, Personal Paradise, for the Instagram. I post weekly so new designs i'd post on the website facebook as well as instagram if you see something you like you can just send me a message if it's sold out i'll just make a new one for you there you go yeah. <laughs> so you great. can make a new one now well, while we go to break we'll be fighting over these purses but you guys stay tuned thank you so much for coming thank you we have thank more you. of the stew coming right up This is your final Fab Frugal of 2016. I hope you've enjoyed it, but right now we need to talk about your New Year's resolution. 2017 is coming up, and at the top of your list, I'd say let's try to make your first million dollars. Yes, get the process started, because I know you want money in your account. You want to live great. You want to live lavishly. Well, here's what you need to do. So number one, you've got to delay instant gratification. If you want something now, hold off. So I'm going to tell you an interesting story. The Stanford University did this study uh, with young children, and it was just a marshmallow experiment. But essentially, they gave children two choices. One, you can actually get a marshmallow now, or two, wait 15 minutes and get two marshmallows. And guess what? The kids that chose to wait 15 minutes to get the two marshmallows ended up more successful in life. Guys, I'm telling you this because it has a point, and the point is that you can be more successful if you delay on the things that you think you want or the things you even think you need. Just hold off and put that money aside. Which brings me to my second point, put at least 15% of your paycheck into your savings. I know it sounds really, really difficult, but it's 2017, guys. It's time to start to make a change. Make next year count. So put that money aside, put it in an interest-bearing savings account, and let it sit there. Let it grow, guys. Number three, look at your retirement savings account. So if you are working for a company that actually matches your retirement savings, the contributions, then you are in luck. You stay there, you work hard, and eventually you can take all that money with you, and you're even closer to a million dollars than even before. So make sure to look into what your retirement plan is with your company, seeing if they're matching your contributions. That is a great thing to have. Number four, look into that diversified portfolio. So we talked about asset classes earlier, so you wanna look into a, into a portfolio that has you know, the money market funds, that's the cash, the bonds, that's the debt. Um, all kinds of stuff, right? So you want that portfolio. There's different companies you can go to. Talk to a financial planner in 2017. Let them look at what you're making versus what you owe. And let them tell you how to actually make this next year count. 
And last but not least, anything that you actually make from your investments, try to reinvest them. It's the perfect way to continue to save and continue to make your money grow. This has been your final Fat Frugal of the Year, guys. Oh my gosh. And I hope you enjoyed it. It's 2016 is out the door. 2017, we're making our first million. I know I'm going to try to, too. Peace. Well, guys, unfortunately, <laughs> it's our last Monday here at the Stoop for 2016. But we're looking forward to seeing you guys in the new year. Wishing you nothing but love, prosperity, a great holiday season. We hope that your edges flourish. May your skin glow with the shininess of coconut oil. And have an amazing 2017. Maybe better. No baby mama drama. What else are we wishing for? Bub. Bob, go get that bag alert. Uh, yes. Uh, and more peace, okay? No violence. Be peaceful. Spread love. See you guys in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> when the vibe is right.